Hello, today's video is about how to record a video of yourself to insert into the PowerPoint. Now, just to recap, our way of doing things is to record everything in manageable chunks and then let it come together in a PowerPoint presentation. That makes the whole thing more manageable. Uh, and if you make a mistake, you don't have to start over. You just have to edit that one aspect. Now, you can share your way of recording video with us. Uh, you can leave a... Um, a comment in the blog section or even at the bottom of the YouTube page. Uh, Windows 10 does come with a uh, recorder, a camera. Um, we found this one to be slightly wanting. Um, the settings, you can't really override it. It's an experimental application. We looked at quite a few others and we landed on Zoom. Now Zoom's intended purpose is to do uh, meetings and share your screen and do all sorts of other things but we've noticed that you can with zoom record yourself um, in other words you have a meeting with yourself and then you record it now zoom's website is zoom.us now if you go to the website you scroll it it's really quite hard to find where to download it but if you go to resources you can download a zoom client and it basically takes you to the same page you can just use the top one which is zoom client meetings it's not that large you install it it does a few things it runs a few settings once you start up zoom it looks like this um, to uh, if you go to home page or let's rather start here you can uh, add your friends and have conferences with them later however today you're going to do it all by yourself so you're going to say new meeting zoom starts up um you uh, basically going to check your settings so you go to mic now i have a lot of sound um, devices and i'm using my usb microphone we do want to strongly suggest this is a pro tip you do not want to use the internal microphone in your laptop or your computer there's a lot of fans in the computer and you're very far away from it uh, use a uh, hands-free kit from an old cell phone or you every cell phone you buy you get um, things that looks like earphones those work marvelously well uh, my wife uses a lapel microphone that we had laying around so if you get a microphone very close to you then the dogs barking and the kids playing in the background would be less of a disturbance also video settings now your video quality is contingent on your webcam so if you've got a webcam that shoots an HD your video will be HD my webcam is somewhat rudimentary therefore my video is not that high resolution but for the most part of it the video settings uh, you just choose the camera you want to use one important setting I want to get into is um, it's good to conform to 16 by 9 because most devices like TVs and cell phones are rectangular and less square in the olden days video used to look like this they're more square these days videos are more rectangular so it's best to use that setting the other very important setting is if you go to recording right change well not change necessarily but Pay attention to where your videos are saved. You don't want to make a very lengthy recording and then lose your video. Also, after a while, these videos fill up your hard drive. So pay attention to where your videos are being saved. Uh, the default location is Documents, Zoom. I change it to a special folder on my hard drive where I say, uh, save my e-learning tutorial videos, right? so just to run through that again you go to video you go to the arrow you go to video settings uh, you choose 16 by 9 if you're so inclined you can forget about all of the rest of the stuff if you go to recording you just pay attention to where the videos are being saved now all that's left to do is to make your recording you join a meeting with yourself you wait for the connection to happen and now you record You'll notice the recording is happening over there. And as soon as it's done, you can just stop it and say end meeting. End meeting for all. Now you will notice there's some stuff happening there. Basically what is happening is the videos are being converted into a usable format for you now to insert into your PowerPoint. Now, it's important to distinguish that we use Zoom, as we've mentioned, for the unintended purpose of recording your face. It's not recording any of the screen, right? We use another program called FreeCam 8 to record the screen recording. So once you do your PowerPoint presentation, you will insert your videos into that. We'll cover that when, once we get to the PowerPoint. Here now is the video that I've recorded. We can test it by double-clicking on it. 
you'll notice recording is happening over there happening over there it's happening over there okay so there's my video it's done we know it's confirmed it is there here's another little pro tip there's no shame in making notes for yourself and planning a bit and then using it as an auto cue so it looks like you looking at the microphone that sits on top of the screen but you're basically looking down at your text so I'm uh, I've covered zoom's main functions a quick look at the settings important way to save why record video separate from the presentation that I've touched on in fact there will be a whole different video around uh, you know all the, the things you might want to do and not do uh, do a little planning now this is my planning you see it here don't overthink it I mean you're not gonna get it perfect this is not a thing it's meant to be perfect there will be dogs barking and kids playing this is the circumstances just get the information out there and also you know try to make it short and snappy and I'm preaching to myself here um, a rookie mistake is to use the internal microphone I've touched on that and as far as getting a good video you just want to have maybe a lamp uh, close to the recording that put some light on your face that will highlight you so just you know position the light so so that so that your outlines are positioned also you've noticed that the drapes at the background is closed you do not want backlight you do not want a strong light behind you because that's just gonna mess up your video please like this video subscribe to get updates share the knowledge with your colleagues suggestions and questions can be left in the comment section of the blog or the YouTube page I'm eager to hear your tips and tricks.